This is a spawn more common for mages, but it's great for paladins as well. This is Orman West. I started to hunt here before Diamond Arrows at just level 180, and it was still pretty viable, but I would say that this is best for level 200s. The best thing of this spawn is that it's right next to the city and takes you 10 seconds from a depot to this spawn. Just by the city, head west to this building and levitate down. Oramon West consists mostly of this green area. It has a variety of monsters and also a raid that spawns Quara Scouts. Overall, if you hunt this spawn long enough, you get 200 charm points. And the experience is what makes it worth it. I didn't hunt as much because honestly the spawn was harder to get back then and the profit was very minimal. But at around level 200, I was making roughly 1.3k an hour. At 280, I was around the 2.5k with Quara Raid and around 2k without the Quaras. So it's definitely better to do it with the Quara Raid as it doesn't change much in terms of difficulty even though you will be killing more monsters and also because you get those charms while hunting. However, I couldn't find a confirmed answer as to how this raid starts. Most people seem to agree that this is random and others believe it has something to do with picking routes or delivering them. Regardless of that, a quick way to see if there's quarras is by the northwest of the city just stand around this spot and wait a bit to see if a quarra walks into your screen downstairs. If no quarra shows up, then it's not activated. For equipment, having life leash is not necessary but it makes life easier. Keep in mind my hunts work without it. And then I don't recommend to tank because I think it's better to kite on this spawn due to how many monsters there is, you want to always keep on moving. I recommend to have a sleep shawl if possible or use garlic necklaces if you don't, as they also reduce some of the damage. For armor, if you're going with life leash, use that. If not, an earth bar is enough or even a swan feather cloak can be pretty good for the earth protection and the extra speed to run. For runes, use thunderstorms if the quarters are activated or GFB if they're not. I was using around 800 runes an hour and almost 1k strong manas and this is without life leash and use 2 level 2 mana leeches. The route I liked the most was doing a lap through the ruins of the city and from south to north. I had to do this part due to the lack of a spawn back then but I don't think it's necessary anymore and just do a lap sticking to this might be more efficient. As for the profit I think it will be at best between 5 to 100k. If you have better imbuements than I did, for sure it gets better, but overall you shouldn't be wasting as long as you're looting. Another good thing about this spawn is that it has a lot of roots that you can use while hunting. These are part of the tasks to get points in order to get your citizenship of Oramon. You will need it eventually to be able to trade with the NPCs and take the shortcut from the boat. So even though it's a slow way to get your points, at least you can do it while hunting. That is all I got for this video. If you want to support the channel and creation of more content like this, please consider sending some TV coins to Goody Donation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.